What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Realistic Career Mode, this is episode number 7. And we start today's episode off with a trip to the Etihad Stadium to take on Manchester City right now. Still top of the table, still undefeated and still certs to win the title and reclaim their crown they surrendered to Liverpool last season. As for us right now, still in a Europa League spot with several points behind Chelsea in 4th place. If we are to make the Champions League, we need to get our form sorted. Our last Premier League game was a shock 1-0 defeat at home to Newcastle United heading to the right now leaders in the Premier League still on the field as well I was not fancying our chances of getting back to form in this game here and unsurprisingly the visitors were the better team in this match they had most of their chances however they mostly came from set pieces I have to say in this game defensively we were superb. Both teams have the top two defensive records in the division, so it wasn't really much of a surprise. We restricted each other to set-piece chances or not too many clear-cut ones. And for City in this game, we just totally frustrated them. Once again, Connor Cody was absolutely sublime. Our 10 minutes to go, Rui Patricio pulled off a brilliant save on Sergio Aguero to make sure we would end up with a point here away in the northwest. Final chance falling from yet another corner. I'm Eric Laporte's header sailing wide of the post. So it's 0-0 was the final score. Goal is straight away at the Etihad Stadium. And, you know, we have struggled putting the ball in the back of the net this season. There's no doubt about that. It's now back-to-back -back games in the Premier League without a goal. However, again, defensively, that's where we've been superb. In this game, Man City dominated possession, 57% of it, 90% pass accuracy, 9 shots and 5 on target. But we've been so, so watertight at the back. Again, second best defensive record in the division. Man City have the top uh, top defensive record right now. But Rui Patricio leading the way in the race of the Golden Glove. And I've mentioned him a few times now. I keep on talking about how great Raul Jimenez has been on his way to winning the Golden Booters thing. Stan Renato Sanchez signing the season. But Connor Cody, the cap in has been unbelievable as a centre back he's been a big reason why we're still in a European place still following the game it was time for transfer deadline day and it was the quickest transfer deadline day of all time and the quietest transfer window of all time for us as well you see the top deals on the right hand side there is a Mobley goes to Manchester United and you saw Martinez Lautaro Martinez on his way to Manchester City as well. They're already top of the table, but they're trying to extend their lead over Liverpool from 12 points right now. And on the back of the draw as well, no wins in our last two games in the Premier League, as you can see. Currently now nine points off Chelsea in fourth with 13 games to go. We're only four points clear of Leicester in eighth place right now as well, and five behind Spurs in fifth. So i got to say, I think there's still a chance we could finish in the top four and qualify for the Champions League. However, we need to go into a really consistent run of form very quickly if we're to have any chance of making a deficit on the teams above us right now. And a draw for the FA Cup fifth round has just been made as well. The last 16 in the competition features a North London derby Spurs versus Arsenal. But we've got Chelsea, our next opponents in today's episode, at Molyneux in the last 16. That'll be coming in the very next episode. And of course, Chelsea were the first team to beat us this season. We got thrashed by Frank Lampard's side 3-0 at Molyneux. So definitely underdogs for that tie here and certainly heading into this game as well. Taking them on away in West London for the first game outside the transfer window. If we are to qualify for the Champions League and make it a deficit, we needed to win this game and not just draw it. First chance falling to the Blues. Good stop by Patricio. And then Ferro almost scored his first goal for the club from this corner as well. There's a saying on my channel, if you're going to score your first goal for the club, make it a memorable one. This was almost glorious. Bicycle kick by the Portuguese defender. Sailed just wide of Kepa's left hand post. So still 0-0. Really bright and lively start in this game. Though. Both teams sensing they needed to win the game game for different reasons as they're both in pursuit of European football for next season and on the half an hour mark Chelsea would find their breakthrough not through Timo Werner he got the assist but N'Golo Kante everyone loves the former Leicester midfielder as one of the best players in the Premier League at least in my opinion makes it 1-0 to Chelsea as the Blues take the lead Kante the Frenchman with the goal makes it 1-0 puts it past Patricio and the hosts lead but despite trailing in this game we played some really good football the build-ups were really nice the off the ball movement was great as well. Traore denied by Kepa there. The Spaniard making a good save as it was still 1-0. We just couldn't find that leveller. As we continued to push and press, there was still time on the clock. 12 minutes to go as Pedence rolled through uh, Renato Sanchez. Golden chance, our final one in the game and our Portuguese midfielder takes it as we find our leveller. Sanchez with the finish. Wolves back on level terms and no less than we deserved as well. And I would say if we lost this game as well, 
that would be it. Any chance of us qualifying with this Champions League would sure be over, uh, surely, surely be over. The gap would extend to double digits with 12 games to go. I just don't think we'd have enough to make up that gap in such a short space of time. Had to at least get a point in this game. And Renato Sanchez rescues us right towards the end of the match with 10 minutes to go. His seventh goal of this season already. I say already, we're coming towards the end of the season. But anyway, seven goals this season is debut year in the Premier League. He's been sublime this year. Chelsea in the game is 72% possession in the match. I've got to be honest here, there are times where I'm playing this game and I do feel like it's quite similar to FIFA 16. I don't know if you guys feel the same as well. I like the gameplay, I do. I think EA have made some pretty positive changes to it. However, sometimes I feel like the AI are a little bit too... Possession and pass heavy when you're taking them on on legendary or ultimate regardless we've got a point That's a very credible one there But it is worth pointing out just one win in our last four games in all competitions now And that was in the FA Cup against Cardiff City at home So taking on leads here at Molyneux needing to return to winning ways against one of the newly promoted sides Because we, uh, we drew with them on the opening day 1-1 away at Ellen Road I thought this was going to be a pretty straightforward game We were the far better team We were looking the much stronger side as well We had the chances but we have struggled with goals this season You saw before the game Raul Jimenez now drops to third in the top scoring chart uh, behind I think it's Sadio Mane and Deli Ali who are ahead of him right now but sometimes Jimenez is not at his best sometimes I'm not quite as accurate as I need to be with the Mexican and it's pretty common theme for us this season when Raul Jimenez doesn't score we don't win and this was just like looking like it was going to be one of those games he had the chances I couldn't put them in the back of the net NATO almost scored a sensational goal in the final 10 minutes that bending effort off the crossbar as Leeds got to be on for a corner and that was how the game would finish a very frustrating goalless draw at home there to a newly promoted side one win in our last five in all competitions none in our last four in the Premier League how we didn't win that game I don't know well I kind of do Kika Casilla was superb and my finishing was really poor but I have to say now with every little slip up that we have towards the end of the season our chances of qualifying with the Champions League take a massive massive hit and you know you've got to remember we are the underdogs to qualify regardless so those games there at home against mid-table sides like Leeds are right now they need to be wins draws you know clean sheets are nice and a point is a point but there's a common saying in football it's either two points gained uh, sorry one point gained or two points lost and that was definitely two points lost in fact pretty much now any draw is going to be two points lost as we're trying to make up so much ground in the race for a Champions League place I'm just not sure it's going to happen now and even qualifying for the Europa League is looking a little bit uncertain with Arsenal and Leicester right behind so for our fourth game of today's episode needing to return to winning ways and finally break our drought in the search for three points in the Premier League taking on Sean Dyche's Burnley here at home had to respond and early on into the game it's that man once again Renato Sanchez eighth goal in the Premier League this season gives us an early lead settles the nerves exactly what we needed and a great chance to make it 2-0 in the 10th minute as well Pablo Nato getting a start in this game do, uh, dinking that ball just over Nick Pope's goal and out for a goal kick so still 1-0 but a lot more urgency from Wolves I have to say this season I've been upping the tempo in a lot of my games and playing at a higher pace than normal as opposed to trying to just hold on to the ball, conserve energy and retain possession. I don't really have a problem with the chances I create in this year's FIFA, but it is true. My finishing is really, really poor. We should have been two or three goals up at this point, 33 minutes in. And Burnley had a great chance to level as well. Chris Wood going for goal denied by Rui Patricio at the near post as it was still 1-0, 34 minutes into the game. And the Clarets continuing to sense that they could get themselves a credible point in this game with us out of form right now. And in the second half, the atmosphere was so tense it was a really nervous crowd at Molyneux as we were still holding on to a slender one goal lead against Burnley and with six minutes on the clock Rui Patricio what a save by our Portuguese number 11 on Jay Rodriguez there failed to get the ball clear quick little one two with Chris Wood and with the left knee or left upper thigh if you will he diverts it behind for a corner as we hold on to the three points just just and escape with the victory our first win in the Premier League at five attempts Renato Sanchez separates the teams once again another clean sheet but an unconvincing victory and I must say next season regardless of what competition we're in the Champions League the Europa League or just playing domestic football I need to get Raul Jimenez and Renato Sanchez some more help in terms of goals because this season 28 games we've only scored 32 times we're still in the Europa League spot we're now eight points clear of Arsenal in eighth however seven points behind Spurs 10 games to go I think we've got enough to qualify for the Europa League or at least finishing seventh to give us a chance of qualifying for the Europa League 
depending on the FA Cup this season. But as for the Champions League, 10 games remaining, I think our hopes have all but gone. But that was this episode of the Realistic Career Mode, guys. A big thank you for watching. We have enjoyed it. In fact, you know what? That's, that's very defeatist. There's still time. There's still time. We can still make it up. Come on, boys. That was this episode of Realistic Career Mode, guys. Have a fantastic day. Uh, much love to you all. And it's a double upload day today. Please drop a like if you want more. You're going to get it regardless. I've got no idea what to say. Have a great Sunday, guys. I'll see you for the next episode later tonight.